Hey guys, it's Erin, EW Wellness Solutions, and we are on day two of how to get off of sugar. So yesterday we went over the organizational things, right? Getting it out of your house, eating ahead of time before you go to someone's barbecue, just because they mean well, but there's probably a lot of sugar in their barbecue sauce, right? Now we're going to go over what I consider to be the real issue. So after we detox from the sugar, which is usually in five days, really, which involves headaches, you feel achy, you're tired, you're just generally meh, we have to address the emotions, the psychological stuff, the why did I go to sugar when I had this feeling stuff. That's where the real work is. That's the real stuff. So when we were kids, most of us had our first introduction to sugar. I was probably about a year old. There's a story about it in my book, right? Which my mother does not like that I put in my book and she'll not like the fact that I just brought that up of how she doesn't like that story. But she's told that story a million times, so it's a true story. So when I was a kid, I had a lot of sugar. And then when I was older and I had feelings I didn't like, I started numbing them with sugar. I had lots of feelings I didn't like. Numbing feelings, sugar. Numbing feelings, sugar. Feeling sugar, feeling sugar. So when I decided to stop having sugar, so I did all of the stuff, right? Getting rid of it and all the things I recommended yesterday. Well, life didn't stop for me. Like it won't stop for you. You're still going to have lifey stuff, as I call it. You're still going to have speeding tickets. You're still going to have miscommunication with your spouse. You're still going to have a work crisis. So feelings will come up. I guarantee it. Absolutely. Now, there will be a point where the sugar-free thing that Aaron's talking about might be really annoying. And you're like, screw it. Screw her. Whatever. Everyone's sugar. It's just a bunch of hype or whatever. I disagree. So you will have a fork in the road where the old wear patterns, which are very well established, years and years, decades for me, numbing feelings, sugar, feelings I want to numb, sugar. That is a very strong bridge, right? Strong connections. I needed to make a new bridge, right? I needed to make a bridge of feelings handling it, feelings exploring it, feelings let's roll around in it and see what happens. Or else I would find another ugly coping mechanism. Make sense? So what you need to do now is do some real self-exploration into how did I get here? This might make you very uncomfortable because it's a heck of a lot easier just to go grab a Diet Coke, right? Or a can of Coke or Baby Ruth or whatever you were into. Like I said, I was a candy person, so everyone's different. However, if you do that, all you're doing is kicking the can down the road, no pun intended. This problem you have with sugar is not going to get any better. It won't, and it will absolutely lead to health problems. That I promise you. So let's just think about what feelings you're numbing out with sugar because those feelings need to be dealt with. Whether you're frustrated with your job, you really don't want to be in the job you're in. You really don't want to be with the person you're dating or whatever it is. You're not handling that because you're numbing out with sugar. So you have that problem, the real problem of whatever heck you're numbing out. Also, there's going to be a little period of sadness because you don't have your buddy Sugar anymore to hang out with. So that's a bummer, right? We used to have our buddy Sugar and we hung out and, you know, we had some good times. Well, they're not there anymore, but yet they are. They're everywhere, only we're no longer seeing each other. <laughs> so that is something you're going to have to get over as well 
it can all be done. These are all things that other humans have done and are doing every day. But when I say get off of sugar, I don't want to sugarcoat it. Sorry, I had to go there and make you think it's just a snapping of the fingers because it's not. You're going to have to dig deep and you're going to have to want this. It's worth it because you need to be able to understand what you're really feeling because I guarantee you, you have a lot of messages that your body's been trying to tell you that you've been just numbing out with sugar. All right, day three tomorrow. This is going to be a long one, isn't it? All right, bye.